Okay, I put VLANs on switches one and two also. So now I've created the VLANs on all of three switches. VLAN one, two, uh, three. And by the way, I changed the names. They weren't VLANs one, two, and three. They were actually what? VLANs 10, 20, 30, 30, 20, and 10. I think that's the, the the number I gave the VLANs. Let's double check. If we go to this switch here, and you can see here, here's the numbers 10, 20, and 30, and 99. So VLAN 1, 2, and 3 is not correct. These are VLANs 10, 20, and 30, and VLAN 99. So I've changed that. Okay, I don't think that's a deal breaker. Let's keep going. So um, now that we have VLANs 10, 20, 30, and 99, configured on all three switches. I'm going to open up this switch and I'm going to start configuring the ports so that we can assign some of these ports to some of these VLANs, right? So I'm in my command line interface on the top switch. Okay, and I'm going to go to interface FA and I'm going to do interface range command. Interface range uh, also, I think I need to be in global config mode for this. One of my students is telling me I'm not in uh, uh, global configuration mode. Thanks a lot there, Matt. All right. So, conf T will get me into global config mode. Thank you, Matt. Somebody's paying attention. And I'll do this. INT, instead of interface, I'll use shorthand. Interface, and then range, FA, 0, slash, 6 dash, was it dash 10 or dash 0 slash 10? And that should give me the, um, this should open up interface range of ports 6 through 10. Let's see if that works. Nope, oop, didn't work. Let's try it again. Instead of FA 0 slash 6 through just 10, oh, that worked. So that's the correct command. All right, so that's interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 6 through fast ethernet 10. So now I'm going to configure all of those interfaces, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say switch port, right, mode. And I'll space here and put a question mark just to show you something. There's three modes, switch port mode. There's access, dynamic, and trunk. What we're going to be doing is um, making it an access port because it's going to be for a regular host. It's not going to be a trunk and it's not going to be dynamically um, checking to see what it's supposed to be. We're going to make it an access port. So I'll do that. Okay. And then I'm going to say after I put in the switch port mode access, I'll do switch port access and then I'm going to tell it what VLAN I want to be a part of. VLAN 10. Okay. And that looks pretty darn good. Right. So now, if I minimize this and I just hover over, hover over switch zero, you'll see that if you can see in the uh, towards the top that some of those ports are down because nobody's connected to it. But ports six through ten are now assigned to VLAN ten, right? And or if I want to use a command for it, I'll do a um, let's see here. I'm going to do a no shutdown, and I'll do an exit. And I'll do a exit again. And then I'll do a show VLAN brief. And you'll see that now, if you look here, the lab one VLAN 10 has six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 all in that VLAN. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna go back and do it some more. So configure terminal, right? That puts me in global config mode. And this time I'm going to do INT for interface, FA 0 slash 11 through 17. All right? And that's going to put me in an interface range command. Oops. Look at that. I forgot a command in there. What was it? Interface range, FA 0 slash 11 through 17. 
And now it puts me in config interface range mode, right? So that's what I wanted. And then I'm just going to go up arrow until I get to switch port access VLAN 10. Nope, switch port mode access. There you go. Hit enter. And then I'm going to go to switch port access VLAN 10 and change that to 20. So that's the two commands I put in right there. And that looks pretty good. All right, we got to get the rest of our ports going here. So what I'm going to do is, right from this command, I don't even have to end it. I could spit, say end, but I can just go right up to interface range. And this time I'm going to do 18 through 23. Okay, 18 through 23, because I'm going to leave. Oh, no, I can do 18 through 24. I'm switch one. So 18 through 24. No, I'll do 23. There you go. Yeah. Do 18 through 23. And then I'll do up arrow to switch port mode access. And then I'll do switch port access VLAN 30. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to do one last port. I'm going to do interface int fa0 slash 24, right? That looks good. Hit enter. And notice it's just 24, so I'm no longer in the interface range prompt. I'm in just configure interface mode. And then I'm going to do switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 99. So I'll have one port open for a management VLAN. And at the end, I'll hit end. All right, I think that looks good. At the end, I can do control C to get to privileges exec mode. And then I can run a show VLAN brief. And I can see how I've assigned the ports on my switch to different VLANs. Um, you can see that ports one, two, three, four, and five and the two gigabits are still on VLAN one and we've got ports these other ports distributed to these other areas.